Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add sound effects to Share Factory with this USB device on the PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So using Share Factory and a USB drive, you can add sound effects relatively easily. Now the duration has to be 0.5 seconds to 15 seconds long, and it has to be a WAV file. And you have to have a share factory folder on your USB device. And in that folder, you have to have a sounds folder exactly like that. Now let's switch over to my computer right now and set this up. So I'm gonna plug in my USB drive and it should pop open automatically. If it doesn't go down to the file explorer right here and open this up and locate your USB drive. So it just opened automatically for me and I know it's the USB drive D. This will probably be different for you. Now you wanna make sure you have the file system for that drive selected EXFAT. So if we select the drive, right click on it, then go to format. It should say file system right here. Make sure it's EXFAT. If it's not, go to it and select EXFAT and go ahead and start and format that drive. Now this will erase all the data from that USB drive. So you might wanna transfer that data over to your computer before you do this, but you will need that in order to use this on Share Factory. So mine's already formatted. Then you wanna go ahead and right click in your drive and go to new and go to folder and then rename the folder Share Factory, just like this. So I have a Share Factory folder. Then inside this folder, you wanna go ahead and right click in here and go to new and go to select. And once you have that folder in here, you wanna go ahead and make it a sounds folder. So go ahead and just do it just like that. Then you want to go ahead and put any of your sound effects in that sounds folder. So I have some sounds right here. So I only have one WAV file right here, WAV. I'm going to go ahead and copy this or cut it and then put it into my share factory folder. Then go to sounds and right click here and go to paste. So it's a bunch of metal bats. Now let's take this over to my PlayStation 5. Now on your PlayStation 5, in Share Factory, go to the toolbox and go to Import Sound FX right here. Select this and go to Import from USB. Now it's assessing the sound effects. Now for me, the folder is empty and the file that I put in there wasn't found. Once we do have that on our PlayStation 5, it will save it to the PlayStation and then we can go to our video right here and select this and prepare it. Then once we have the timeline opened up, to add a sound effect, press the X button, go to add overlay, and then go down to sound FX right here. And select this. And there's already a bunch of sound effects on here, but the ones you imported should show up under this list. They should show up at the top. Then you also have the crater pack sound effects right here. So there's a bunch of already Sound effects depend on the pack that you use to actually edit your video. So if you back out and go to new project, you have all these packs already created. And these will have different sound effects with each of them. So go ahead and try that out as well. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.